Hailing from Fromoy, County Cork, not an area renowned for its traditional music, piper Sean McCarthy is a recent All-Ireland champion. Among those who influence Sean's distinctive style of playing is well-known Cork piper Ono Reavik, who in turn inherited his love of piping from his father. I caught up with Sean and Owen to discuss their shared craft. Sean, you're from Fermoy. It's an area that wouldn't exactly be known for a strong piping tradition. Uh, tell us how you first became introduced to the instrument. I started the pipes at the age of eight. Uh, there would have been music in my family, but no pipers. I was started by a local piper called Jimmy Morrison, and then I continued to learn then from a girl called Rosaline O'Leary. But had you played other instruments before you picked up the pipes? No, the pipes would have been my first instrument, which I suppose is unusual. Most people would start on the whistle, but I just started on the pipes straight away. Uh, when did you first come across Owen? Um, I would have been introduced to Owen by Rosaline. Um, she would have learned the pipes from Owen's father with Owen at the time. And she would used to make me listen to Owen all the time. And then uh, I heard him in Cork at a piping event in Cork. And I just thought he was brilliant. And he released his CD then. And I consider his CDs to be one of the best piping CDs around. Tell us about Sean McCarthy. When did you first see Sean playing? And was it evident to you that he was a very special player? Yeah, I, I, I met Sean a couple of times in, in um, class situations at Tenoles, various Tenoles. I mean, the last time was, I suppose, in Fromai, I think. And to be quite honest, which I, I just went in and when he started playing, I, I said, who's, who's going to be teaching who here? You know what I mean? I, I have nothing to teach this guy, you know? And what is it about him that particularly attracted you to his style of playing? Um, he's different. He kind of does what he wants. and he, He's very, very technically brilliant. And he is a... He has loads of different ways of playing and he plays some bluegrass and he plays trad and he, he ventures out and kind of pushes the pipes to their limit. And what did you hear in his style? Did you hear a throwback to those pipers that you used to listen to in the, in the 50s and 60s or did you hear a very new contemporary sound? I, I think, yeah, th there was a different sound to um, young pipers now than um, there was I, a lot of it probably is um, sound quality as well when you listen back to um, the legs of Leo Rose and Leon Rose and his son uh, the, the pipes sounded different you know and uh, you don't get to hear pipes like that much anymore you know it's a combination of the old instruments and the old recording equipment you know I think the playing um, qualities is, is exploding completely. You know? I mean, I, I think young guys today are displaying far greater talent than guys my age, you know, or guys my of my era, you know. Do you think they're just putting more time into it, or I think they have better instruments. Um, I think they have um, they have more access to to listen to music, you know. Uh, you know, the advent of the iPod, the, the um, internet, CDs, that kind of thing. It's much easier for them to access other musicians, you know. And this year now you've decided to take a year out from college. Was that because you were so busy playing and you felt you needed to...? Um, yeah, I was busy playing and I just wanted to do it while I was young. So I'm going away playing music pretty much full time now. With who? Um, playing with uh, dance shows mainly, uh, Ragus and Celtic Legends. Do the pipes attract a certain type of personality or a certain type of a person who picks up the pipes? Lunatics mainly, <laughs> yeah. You'd have to have some kind of um, masochistic streak, I think, to, to put up with the first like six months of just agonising, painful stuff, you know. But once you get beyond that, then it's, it starts to get enjoyable, you know. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever get back to college or is it pursue life as a full-time musician from here on in? Um, I'll probably Your see parents will be watching this, <laughs> so be careful how you answer it. I'll see how I go. I can go back to college at any stage. So I'm just going to last words. Yeah. I'm just going to see how I get on and just keep going from here. 
and I probably will end up having to go back to college, but hopefully not for a while. Well, best of luck with it. Thanks very much.